Look at this. Huck and I at 11,000 feet, Continental Divide, along with the $600 truck off of eBay. <laughs> Isn't, that Isn't that something? Excellent scenery up here. Look at this. Traces of snow. Traces of snow in the trees there. It's amazing. What is it like? The 19th, September 19th. And there you have it, Mount Crested Butte, as seen from the edge, well, pretty much the edge of uh, the old downtown Crested Butte, where I used to live many, many years ago. That used to be the Bear Mountain Deli right there, and they, a lot more than sandwiches came out of that deli. As a general rule, it looks almost the same as it did you know, 20 years ago. This is one of the oldest buildings in town, Kachievers, or the um, Kachievers building, and uh, Kachievers Bar there and restaurant, and of course I used to work there. And right here, there used to be a door to a basement under there, and this little area was filled with snow, and one time I almost died. I slipped down into that basement, and the door somehow swung shut, and it was dark down there. There's all kinds of weird 100-year-old implements down there and couldn't find my way out. Finally, by banging a rock on the uh, floor, people up in the bar heard me at like 3.30 and 3 in the morning and came down and got me out of there. I believe the tools and everything that were used to, to hew all that timber are uh, in the basement. It's just that kind of stuff down there and in the other basement on the left side. There's like sawmill parts down there. Look at all that timber and well, well, and you know I've been in there. I don't think they actually use it anymore. Wildflower Festival office. Here's my campsite. It's the Slate River. Right down there. Crested Butte, right down that way. This goes right into town, the Slate River does. Not a bad spot. All right, well, this is something I hadn't rigged for, and you may not be able to see it here in the camera, really, but it's snowing. My third day here. What is it, like September 21st? I'm pretty high up. I don't know how many feet. But still. At least it's not leaking in the tent when it's snowing. It just bounces right off. Well, it's pretty easy to find firewood. It's just laying all around these large broken branches like this. And that's really strange considering there's no trees hardly. And I can only guess that the snow must be bringing the branches down from up there, depositing them down here. Beautiful spot to hang out in the summer. Big slabs of slate all carved smooth by the water. And this is just right off the side of the road heading back up. That's the Slate River. I stopped and nabbed some firewood from here last night and just came back and I had dropped my glasses and found them. But this is another beautiful spot, just a quarter of a mile from where I am down. Whew. And I'm just letting Huck run in front of the car as I drive down the road. He, there's no other traffic or anything. <laughs> One way to walk the dog. Even though it's sunny, it's actually snowing. A few flakes are going by here and there. But it's it feels nice out. Got the windows rolled down. Aspen's turning. Got high winds and, and stuff, which it's 
knocking the leaves off some of them prematurely, it looks like. Over there. Normally they'll turn a kind of an orange colored also, just the yellow, before they blow away. They are beautiful. The largest organism in the world is located very near here at the top of Kepler Pass, right outside of Crest, which is a grove of aspen trees. for biking and running. They can be reached at 349-9997 and 641-2266. Two, two, I bet there's still some of my fingerprints on, on some of these old records. can't remember. It looks like it's called the Old Rock Community Library, and I can't remember if that's... It seems so small now. Compared to the one in Telluride, it's tiny. But maybe there's another one. <laughs> 